All right. Um, in Peter Diamond's latest video, uh, <clears throat> we find a number of things and a number of topics brought up, and still we find Peter Diamond confused on uh, theological issues and uh, especially issues pertaining to the Eucharist. And in Peter's latest video, um, he goes on a rant, um, claiming that I'm a liar and that I'm in deep mortal sin. Uh, we can't help but chuckle. Uh, Peter Diamond wrote to me. Uh, threatening to take legal action against me because I say that they copy and paste arguments and because uh, he says basically that I'm lying about this uh, so he accuses me of being a liar and um, yet uh, I get called a liar and I get told uh, by Peter Diamond that I'm going to hell but all is pretty much fine and dandy right yeah that's the logic of state of a contest Peter Diamond in this video says that he understands my tactic. <laughs> he says, I lose a debate and I want a challenge right away. Right. That must be it. Right, Peter? I feel so beaten up by you in our debates that I must vindicate myself. It may surprise Peter that uh, after dialoguing with James White in his show, uh, I challenged him to further dialogue the Marian dogmas. The same goes for Turton Fan, the same for Father Machido of the Orthodox Faith, and many other debating opponents of mine. Uh, after either dialoguing or debating with them, I uh, want to further di debate or dialogue because I am interested in doing so. It isn't likely that a person that gets clobbered is going to want to battle over and over again. That's silly. Uh, don't try to vindicate your reasoning in avoiding me, Mr. Diamond. It's not fooling anyone. Peter Diamond continues on, and what he does is silliness at its best. He says that I offered him the quote of Jerome during the debate, and now, that, and now I won't give it to him. What I offered Peter Diamond was my series in the Church Fathers and the Words of Consecration, which is in English, Greek, Latin, and some Aramaic. I didn't offer Peter Diamond a Jerome quote that says that Ephraim's stuff is valid. I never offered him that. Jerome's quote isn't something that talks about the Words of Consecration, so why would it be in my set in the Church Fathers and the Words of Consecration if it has nothing to do with it? It's something totally different. Furthermore, Peter Diamond thinks that everyone besides his loon ministry are in mortal sin. Peter thinks that everything Jerome wrote exists transcribed into English. In fact, when I offered Peter Diamond uh, a list of the PG or, P, uh, or PL uh, collections to look over my references, he stayed quiet, not having an idea about what was going on. In case anybody has an idea what the uh, PG or PL are, you can simply Google or look up the Patrologia Greca, and uh, the same goes for the Latin set. Peter Diamond continues, arguing that Trent never formally defined these passages, and that they aren't saying what I say that they say. Well, if Peter Diamond knew what Trent said and, underst and understood how to reference Denzinger's sources of Catholic dogma, he would realize just how bankrupt his position is. You see, the problem with Peter Diamond is the fact that, in order for him to have won his debate on the Novus Ordo, his argument on For Many would have had to stand. And the fact of the matter is that the Council of Trent formally defined the text of Matthew 26, 26, Luke 22, 19, and 1 Corinthians 11, 23 as showing a real Eucharistic sacrifice. Furthermore, uh, Luke 22, 19, and 1 Corinthians 11, 24 are formally defined texts that show the reality of holy orders. Now notice carefully, Luke 22 and 1 Corinthians 11 do not have the formula for many, and we are told that these are valid Eucharistic formulas. In order for Peter Diamond's arguments to hold up, he's going to have to show me that, that Trent was wrong. And I don't think any Catholic in their right mind would say this. I'm not reading into this. In fact, you will, you will see flash across your screen <clears throat> are the exact Denziger references. Because Peter Diamond doesn't know what he's talking about. He thinks he knows where Denziger talks about this. And he says, oh, you know, this is what William was talking about. He didn't tell us, but we found it. And Peter Diamond doesn't know how to read Denziger's sources of Catholic dogma. I'm going to go ahead and place where it does appear. And as, as such, these verses are formally defined by the church. Notice that. If a verse is formally defined as Eucharistic and sacrificial, and these verses are, we're told that they're valid consecration formulas. Notice clearly, Trent isn't defining the exact words of consecration, but we're being told that these are valid consecration and sacrificial texts. And if they lack for many, are we to hold the argument of of for many being necessary in the words of consecration is a valid argument? I don't think so. During our debate, <clears throat> Peter Diamond not only found himself in a bit of a bind by rejecting what Trent says, but he also rejects what the Church Fathers say. He claims the quotations I use are spurious. Furthermore, in this new video Peter has done, he continues talking about West Syrian rites and corrupted anaphoras. Why, Peter? Why are you referencing things that have nothing to do with the debate? 
Did I quote a corrupt in an Afra or a West Syrian rite that was spurious? I didn't. As I showed in my previous video, the fact that Ephraim speaks of this consecration during a homily of his work does not affect its validity. This is still a valid consecration formula from Ephraim. For someone who loves reading church documents, Peter Diamond should dig into the church fathers and see that sometimes a father would include the consecration formula they viewed as valid in their homilies. What you will see is how, uh, locations where Chrysostom mentions uh, either words germane to the consecration formula or pretty much his complete consecration formula that he puts forth in his homilies that he wrote. That is correct, in his homilies. Furthermore, we need to realize just uh, what kind of arguments that Peter Diamond is being put forth and uh, realize that it, it is not difficult to diffuse these arguments. We need to realize that uh, the Council of, uh, of Florence was not, <laughs> was not infallibly uh, defining or declaring the words of consecration. Florence was telling us what form was uh, in use, and indeed uh, the form that is put forth was in usage. And uh, we still hold to what, uh, what the Church has always said, that if the words of consecration are changed, so as to alter the meaning, then it changes it completely. But as we can see, as the Bible, as tradition, the church fathers and the church has always held, we do not need the words for many in order for the consecration formula to be valid. That is a bankrupt argument, and it holds no water at all. And we hope that this video that includes Denzinger's sources and includes uh, more stuff for Peter Diamond to chew on can help open Peter Diamond's eyes. And I will continue praying for Peter Diamond that one day... Uh, he swallows his pride a little bit, um, and he comes to accept Catholicism. I hope Peter Diamond accepts my debate challenge in Vatican II, because I think much like this debate on, uh, <clears throat> on the Novus Ordo, we will help Peter Diamond realize a lot of things that he didn't know before. Peter Diamond, I, I'm not, I don't think Peter Diamond's read much of the Church Fathers before. Um, he's usually doing a wacky conspiracy video, so he really doesn't stop and read Church documents. Or, uh, or theology manuals, and we hope that a debate on Vatican II would help him realize that Vatican II is uh, indeed in line with church tradition, church and conciliar tradition, and we will continue praying for them, and I hope everybody that watches these videos prays for all state of a contest, that they come to accept what Jesus, is, what Jesus wants for us. God bless you.